Hello viewers, welcome back. So this motor you might remember from the past, the Harry Paul Sprain magnetic motor. This one is really of particular interest to me because it works the opposite way like other magnetic motors I show in my videos. It works based on the attraction force and not on the repulsion force. As it's not really apparent from this image over here how this really works, I will switch now to the screen to the monitor and demonstrate with the parallel perspective how this really works. So, as a beginning animation might not convince you that this really works, maybe this view will change your mind. And let me show you how. So what do we have here? So we have the rotor in the middle with two rotor magnets separated by 180 degrees. And we have here also the stator with several magnets over in the circle with some blank space on this side over here. And one crucial point, this is the special magnet, you will see why this pattern is so cool. Uh, what you can see from the stator, it's really apparent that each magnet is more, more closer to the rotor as we go throughout the circle. You know? So this one is really close to the rotor as you can see, where this one over here is very far away from the rotor. So basically, the stator, as, as rotor starts and spins, stator will more and more attract the rotor toward itself to the last magnet over here. And the end magnet is a really important one. And this one is electromagnet. An electromagnet we know can be switched off. And this is why this pattern may actually work. So let me switch now to still image to continue explanation. All right, here is where lies the engineering. As you can see, this last magnet, so this is the iron core with some wires around the iron core. And we, when we lead the current through this wire, uh, this iron core becomes an electromagnet. And as we can see now, these magnets in the circle, this one will be the closest to the rotor and would attract the most the stator magnet over here. So these two arrows represent now the attraction force one to the other magnet. As it is the closest magnet, it would attract the most uh, this magnet and logically this system will stop at this moment because now the magnets are the closest and they will stick to each other. But this is why the electromagnet here is really important because we can switch it off at the moment. So we need some electrical timing mechanism to switch this electrical current and to turn off this magnet over here at the exact point when it's the, when it's the closest to this magnet. And this will allow that the rotor passes this last magnet, not to be stopped by the last magnet, that it passes last magnet and continues through this blank hole over here to the first attraction magnet on the stator, which will then continually attract uh, because each, each magnet is closer to the rotor and this, this uh, circle, would, this spinning would continue. So this is how Harry Paul spring magnetic motor should work. Let me know in, your co in the comment section below what do you think about this patent? And also you have in the description the link to original patent that you can read it thoroughly and ma make your thoughts about it. So thank you for watching. Until next video, stay tuned on my channel.